Today we're running a real estate Google ad in less than 10 minutes. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, have you run Google ads in the past? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, we don't have much time, so let's get to work. Since we're gonna run a campaign with the goal of leads, we need to have a conversion. So get leads and other conversions by encouraging customers to take action. So let's go over and create our conversion real quick. We're gonna go to the plus button, we're gonna go to the website, and notice that there's gonna be very minimal narration unless we absolutely need it. So we're gonna go, the 10 minute video conversion, okay? Use the same value for each conversion. I'm gonna go with $1, but if you know your conversion, please be sure to put that there. And with the count, we're gonna go with one because this is a lead ad. If we were selling products, then we would go with every conversion matters to us, but regardless how many times somebody submits their information, it's still gonna count for one lead. The conversion window is good at 30 days. View through is good for one. Including conversions, yes. Attribution model is the last click. That's gonna be good for us. Creating continue. We're gonna install the tag ourselves. All right, so here we go. The global site tag isn't installed on all your HTML pages. Well, it actually is, but we're gonna create this one as if it wasn't. So I already have a funnel open. So if you use ClickFunnels, this looks very familiar. If not, then um, it doesn't. We're gonna go to the settings on the entire funnel, go to the head tracking code, paste it there. So that's for the entire funnel, save and update. We're gonna come back here, and now we're gonna go with the page upload. So the page load is the conversion we're seeking. And we're gonna go to the thank you screen because we want it at the after they've already gave us their information, which means that they converted, which means they were a lead for us. All right, so we're gonna, gonna go to setting, then we're gonna go to ba -ba -bum, tracking code, paste that. And we're gonna save. Perfect. All right, we're making good progress. Now we have the 10 minute video conversion done. All right, now we're gonna create our ad. We're gonna come back to the campaign, create a new campaign, go to leads, only do search, not gonna worry about this. All right, <clears throat> not gonna worry about naming convention either. We don't wanna be on the search network nor the display network. We only wanna be in search. Check out the additional settings that you have here. Start and end dates, campaign URL options, dynamic search, ad settings, and all that fun stuff. Um, Denver was a previous campaign that I ran, so let's go with Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. That's where we're going, and we want to target people in or regularly in the targeted locations. Not going to worry about excluding anybody right now. English is the preferred language, and we're going to go with, <clears throat> let's go with renters. So people that are, that are renters, all right? Actually, the funnel was for sellers, so let's just go with homeowners. All right, there we go. Daily, we're gonna go with 25 bucks. Bidding, we're gonna do conversions. And then when you go to show more settings, you're gonna see the conversion that we just created. So we're gonna hide those settings. We're gonna create a site link extension for fun. Show you what that looks like. Uh, uh, looking to sell. Trusted agent, uh, no, get top dollar. Free CMA. And then we're gonna come over here, get that URL, copy this, paste, save, all right? And then when you go to call out extensions, you would just create the call out extensions and with those characters. So I'm not gonna actually create one of those just so you see it. In the call extensions, you input your own number. So right there, you just put the phone number. If you want to track 
um, if you want Google to track, then it can actually do that as well. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. All right, and then we're gonna go with the uh, home seller, uh, real estate, no, sell house. Selling your home, selling your house, sell home fast, sell house quickly, selling a house as is, sell my home, sell, sell your house fast, uh, how, and the rest of them. Actually, I'll just add that and we're gonna keep going. All right, so we have the option of creating multiple ads, but we're just gonna create one. Copy this, final URL, looking to sell fast. Get top dollar, trusted agent. The path we're gonna sell, sell. I think that's how you spell Phoenix. Trusted agent ready to help you sell your home. Save and continue. View details on it. Oh, the punctuations, okay. Save and continue, and there you go. Well, I hope that by the time you're watching this, we're well under 10 minutes, which means that we were able to run a real estate Google ad in less than 10 minutes. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.